Hello, my name is Brennan E. Washick, and in this video, I'd like to tell you a little bit about myself, some of my education and work experience, as well as some of my future ambitions starting out in the field of engineering. I'm currently enrolled at the University of Alberta, undergoing my second year of studies in pursuit of a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering. I'm taking my degree through the co-op program offered by the Faculty of Engineering so that I may gain some relevant work experience, as well as to learn about different types of jobs offered by mechanical engineering. To tell you about myself, I grew up in a small town called Brewerheim, which is located right outside of Fort Saskatchewan. I spent a good 18 years of my life living there until I graduated from Fort Saskatchewan High School in 2013. Once I graduated, my brother and I moved to Sherrod Park so that we could attend post-secondary school in Edmonton. Some of my educational experience includes basic understanding of some technical engineering topics like mechanics, fluid mechanics, and thermodynamics. Now, I say basic understanding because I'm only in my second year of engineering studies and I expect to gain more knowledge on these subjects as I continue my degree. Some of my educational achievements that are that I obtained several scholarships from the University of Alberta, which includes the University of Alberta Academic Excellence Scholarship and the Faculty of Engineering Academic Excellence Scholarship. Also, I am currently standing at a 3.4 grade point average. To tell you about some of my work experience, this past summer, I had the opportunity to work for Shell at their Scottford plant in, as a summer student. This job has given me real hands-on work experience as I job shadowed many of the company's engineers. I spent much of my work experience with the metallurgy, rotating equipment, and inspection engineers. While working there, I gained knowledge on how to read many different types of engineering drawings, such as pipeline instrument flow diagrams and pipeline isometrics. Also, I had the opportunity to see and learn about large-scale mechanical equipment such as motors, compressors, and pressure vessels, all within a live operating plant setting. One of the projects that I was involved with was a mixing point project, where I had to locate over 60 different process mixing points and to create inspection packages for said mixing points that were to be sent out to plant maintenance workers. This project has taught me how to work with many different groups within Shell and how to manage other projects on top of that. Overall, my summer job has taught me how to utilize some of my technical knowledge as well as my communication skills to apply them in a real-life engineering environment. Some of my volunteering activities that I'm involved with is that I am an active CIBC Run for the Cure participant and donor. Also, just recently, I attended the Extra Life Video Gaming Marathon where a couple friends and myself have raised over $1,000 for the Stollery Children's Hospital of Alberta. As for some of my hobbies, I enjoy spending time with my friends and family, reading books, specifically mystery novels and technical books, and collecting retro video games. Some of my work-related skills that I feel that I possess is that I could assume the role of a project leader if needed. Also, I could work with multiple types of engineering drawings such as PNIDs, isometrics, and TMLs. I'm quick at learning to adapt to new working environments, and I could work safely and effectively in a plant and office setting. I guess it's also worth mentioning that I'm in possession of a Class 5 driver's license with a clean driving abstract. I have completed CSTS, H2S, and other HSSE safety courses, and I've completed two years of high school French. Once I have completed my degree, I would preferably like to obtain employment with an oil and gas company in Alberta. At the same time, I'm willing to try other types of engineering employment as it is important to try to diversify experience as much as possible. The reason why I'd prefer to remain in Alberta is that I would like to stay close to my friends and family. One of the challenges that I know I will have to face in the future is that I'll have to try to make time for both my future career and my loved ones, and I feel that I could help obtain this balance by staying in Alberta. However, this does not mean that I will like to remain in Alberta all my life. Someday I may want to move out of the province, or maybe even out of the country, and I don't want to limit myself to just working in one place or in one field. It's hard to tell where I'll end up 5 or 10 years from now, but I'd like to keep as many doors open to me as possible so that I can have the flexibility to move between jobs and locations. Thank you again for taking the time to watch my video. I hope it has provided you with some information about myself, as well as my ambitions for the future. If you'd like to know a little more about me, I have a webpage that you could visit, which I'll include the link to in the description below. Also, if you'd like to contact me, you can email me at my email address, which I have also provided in the description below. Anyway, once again, I thank you for watching this video.